Hey up everyone, how are you doing? You've joined me here, repping the PE umbrella merchandise of course, as I want to take you on a bit of a journey of rehab from my surgery and also some home activities that I want to be doing with my children just to build up their PE umbrellas before they hit school age, sort of into key stage one and share some resources with you in this video log. Doesn't seem quite right, where on earth is the cup of tea? Let's get that sorted. Right then, there's the brew, much better. So, a large part of me wanting to do these videos and these games at home is of course, I've got two young children. Um, and in this day and age of technology seemingly taking off, which don't get me wrong, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's great because that's just the way the workplace when my children get older is going to be and they're going to have to be savvy with these products and technology. However, I do like them to stay active. I do like them to build their physical umbrella. I do like them to be using their brains and thinking. I do like them to be able to communicate and socialize with me and other children. Um, and I wanted to prove that you don't need the biggest house and you don't need loads of equipment to do something and have fun with your children. So I've got some activities that I endeavor to show you. I'm just going to show you later on in this video how I've made some of the resources. Um, what I do own is a little mini stack of cones, which were six or seven quid. So it's not bad actually. It's a uh, more of a builder's tea um, that I paid six or seven pound for. But other than that, rest of it's homemade stuff, and I want to show you how you can have a lot of fun with your children leading up to sort of school age. My daughter is now two. My son is just turned five a couple of months back. Um, and yeah, we'll get cracking building those umbrellas. So, roll the footage of me prepping some resources. One hour later. Okay, cutting done. Um, of a few bits and pieces that we'll need. Now, one of the I think the best things you can have at home, just for a bit of fun, throwing, catching, is, is a bean bag, which are massive in primary schools. You find tons of them, but then I don't know if many people have them at home. So you could find somewhere online to buy them. I always say Amazon pretty much have everything. Or you could just make your own. So all I've got or could use is some risotto rice or regular rice, or you could use, have a look in here, in the cupboard, put some master shells or something like that, could use that um, and throw it into like a bat in a bag so there we go, one of these bags, sandwich bag, I'm going to put some of this rice in it and then shut it, could tape it together, fold it over and it's just like having a bean bag anyway so you know you don't have to have all this stuff in, you don't have to go out and purchase a bean bag, you can make your own with stuff that's possibly lying around your house anyway so let's get busy and uh, make this bean bag. So there we have it. I mean, simple as that, really. Got your uh, own bean bag now, and that's something you can uh, throw around and uh, use for some of these activities. Here he is, right. Um, what's the first thing we do after school? What do we do after school, Oliver? Come here. You need to answer this for me. What do we do after school? Tell everyone. Catch ten times, right, so we're gonna do that. You ready? Let's put this down here. You ready for your catches? Yeah. Okay, let's go, come on. Oh, almost, we can do ten, we can do ten. Yeah. So come back to me though, come on, we can do it. We can do it, we can do it. One. Two. Oh, just drop, we're still on one, we're still on one. <laughs> Yes, right. And that's how we do it. Ten. Is that ten? Yes. 
Awesome. A few moments later. Okay, it's excited, but first job here we've got is the, one of our challenges. It's the uh, strength and balance crazy crab home challenge. And as you can see on here, we've got uh, our levels, our tiers. And the first one at the bottom is said to be the easiest. And then we work our way up and we're working on our strength and our coordination. So, Oliver, we're going to try and earn some of these different coloured sharks which relate to the colours that you achieve. And if you can do any of these challenges, you can stick one of those sharks in your fishbowl. And we want to make a fishbowl that is chocker, that is full of fish or sharks, as Oliver likes anyway. So let's see how he gets on. 10 seconds, nice and straight, raised up like that. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Yes, well done, you've done it. So you can stop that position now. Sorted, you have accomplished and managed to get your red shark. So you're going to get your red one. Okay. We're going to get a little bit of blue tack on the back of it because you've only got one of them. Okay, we're going to put this blue tack on the back like that and you can stick it in your aquarium. An orange is a whale shark. So you've got to get into that position again that you were in just a minute ago. Daddy, Daddy okay. where's that from my face? Right. So you're going to try, what you're going to do is lift the bean bag off your tummy and put it next to you. Can you lift it off and put it next to you? Oh, but you've got to try and stay in that position. Oh, try again. So watch, so Daddy show you. So from this position, like this, you're going to try and go, and then you're going to lift it back on, and then go to the other side. Then you're going to try and lift it back on and then go back to that side. You're going to see if you can get a point each time this touches the floor and you've got to score five points. Oh, a tricky one, isn't it? Eh? Try and I'll help you. I'll try and support you a little bit. So get into that strong position. Okay, go on. You can do it. So, no, feet up. Like you were, lift your bottom up. Right, lift your bottom up, use your arms. Okay, so you're going to lift this arm off the floor. Grab it and put it down, then put your arm on the floor. Are you still supported? Yeah. And you're going to lift it back on your tummy. Put that arm down. Then this arm, lift it up, grab it, put it on the floor. That's two points. Then this arm, grab it, lift it onto your tummy. Okay, now arm down. Now I'm going to see if you can do this yourself now. Are you able to balance on that one arm? Go on. Wow, that was so good. Then can you do one, lift it back on your tummy? Yeah, oh, and keep that bottom straight. Yeah, and then can you do it with that arm and lift it on the floor? Oh, you're doing it, and then lift it on your tummy. Oh, yeah, and then can you lift it back down? Oh, well done, I think that deserves an orange whale shark. Hoy, give me a high five. Top job, top job. And then oh. Tell you what, we're all about training and working those muscles. Now you tell me, Oliver, which sharks have we got there? Two. Well, which ones are they though? Do you know what kind of sharks are they? Whale shark and mako shark. Is it a mako shark? Oh, well, it's a whale shark and something. But we've got an orange and a red, so that was a success. I, I, actually, thresher shark. A thresher shark, you heard it here first. Okay, so we've got the two from the bottom, as you saw, quite tricky activities. I think tomorrow we're going to try and get a yellow hammerhead shark into our aquarium which is going to be a little even harder than that I'm yeah yellow. right come and give yellow. me a high five give everyone a high five by high-fiving the camera no you high five the camera you gotta hit the lens all right so as you can see that was a little challenge oliver's very impressed he's actually just done his yellow one off camera um he was really excited to try and earn his sharks and just do some basic stability work only five minutes it doesn't have to be a long time something so simple i use my modified bean bag there of course which had the rice in it to balance on his tummy and you could probably see from the video he was struggling with the, the back support and then getting it off and keeping balanced because of the, the arm strength but we just supported him and worked on it and then he had a bit of success and it's important to celebrate that and have those high fives and he's delighted with uh, how he got on hello here's my other monkey say hi Okay, you don't have to say hi. Can I have this banana? 
Okay. Okay, so I've been given a banana, brilliant. Just support him. High five, encourage, have loads of fun. Five minutes is all it takes, and that's just one of the skills that I endeavour to show you as we go through this vlog. So I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this banana and I will catch you all very, very, very soon. And I almost forgot, make sure you go over to follow me on Twitter, links on here, Ryan Sporting and Instagram and on Facebook, and I will see you all there.